Heavenly Father, Yahweh, thank you for the day that you have made. Father, we ask that your spirit be with us as we read the book of Revelation, chapter 7. Father, we pray for its meaning and understanding. Heavenly Father, Yahweh, we know that time is short. We thank you for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet in these last days. We pray that you forgive us and give us the strength to overcome that we may stand before you in white robes. Father, we love you. May your will be done. These things we pray in the name of your son, Yahweh Shai. Hallelujah. Yaquanan is having visions of heaven. He has seen the Lamb come to the Ancient of Days, and he took the scroll with seven seals. Each time a seal was loosed, a spirit and a power came into the earth. When the first seal was loosed, he saw a white horse. And when the second seal was loosed, he saw a red horse. And the third seal, a black horse. And the fourth seal, a pale horse. When the fifth seal was loosed, Yaquanan saw, he saw the souls of the slain crying out, those who have stood with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, his children. He saw their souls crying out to the Heavenly Father, saying, How long, Israel, your souls cry out to the Most High Yah, saying, How long, Father, before you judge the earth? When the sixth seal was loosed, Yaquanan said that he saw a great earthquake, such as one that has not been seen in the earth before. He saw the sun turn black as sackcloth. He saw the moon turn to blood. The book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. After the six seals were loosed, Yaquanan said he saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. What are the four winds? What is the earth? What is the sea? And what is the trees? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 1. Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 1. Thus saith Yahweh. Behold, I will raise up against Babylon 
and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, and shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about, and against him that bendeth let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Yisrael hath not been forsaken, nor Yehuda of his God, of Yahweh of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Yisrael. The Heavenly Father Yahweh said against Babylon, he said, I will raise up a destroying wind. When the Most High Yah raised up a destroying wind against Babylon, he said, I will send fanners unto Babylon to fan her. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans and they that are thrust through in her streets, for Yisrael hath not been forgotten. When the Heavenly Father Yahweh raised up a destroying wind against Babylon, he sent armies against her. The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 1. Daniel chapter 7 verse 1. In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. And four beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. Verse 5. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear. Verse 6. After this I beheld and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. Verse 7, after this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and brake in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. Verse 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him, thousand Thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. Verse 13, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion and glory, and a kingdom that all people, nations, and tongues should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit, in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the interpretation of the things. These great beasts 
which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Daniel saw four winds of heaven that strove upon the sea. And when these four winds of heaven, when they strove upon the sea, he saw beasts come up out of the sea. The first beast, he said, was like a lion. The second, like a bear. And the third, like a leopard. And the fourth beast, he said, was dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And this fourth beast had ten horns that came out of its head. Daniel said that he beheld until the thrones came down. He saw the kingdoms of the earth taken out of power. He saw the Ancient of Days who sits upon the throne. And the Son of the Highest came near unto him. And they brought him before the Ancient of Days. And there was given unto him the kingdom. In verse 15, Daniel said, I was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me, and I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked the truth of all this, and he told me the interpretation of the things. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. When the four winds strove upon the sea and the earth, four kingdoms arose out of the sea and out of the earth. The four winds are the armies of the earth, and the sea and the earth are the people. Yaquanan said, I saw four angels holding back the four winds of the earth. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. He saw the four angels holding back destruction, the destruction of armies upon the earth to destroy and to kill the people. Revelation chapter seven, verse two. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. There are four angels holding back the four winds of the earth. Yaquanan said, I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God. The Most High, Yahweh, he has many types of angels. The scriptures says that he has 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands of angels. He has cherubim, which are guardian angels. There were cherubims in the Garden of Eden to keep the man and his wife out. Those four angels beneath Yah's throne, those are cherubims. And notice that they have wheels. Jehezkel said that he saw wheels within wheels. What do you think those wheels are for, Israel? For the heavenly father, Yahweh, he sends the spirits out into the earth to accomplish his will. He turns the king's hearts like a river. He turneth it wheresoever he will. He sends his angels. He has cherubims. He has seraphim, which are fiery angels. He has archangels. The Most High Yahweh, he has millions upon millions times millions of angels. This angel that Yaquanan is seeing, he saw another angel ascending from the east. What does it mean that he ascends from the east? Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 43. Ezekiel, chapter 43, verse 1. 
Afterward, he brought me to the gate, even the gate that looketh toward the east. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east, and his voice was like a noise of many waters, and the earth shined with his glory. And it was according to the appearance of the vision which I saw, even according to the vision that I saw when I came to destroy the city, and the visions were like the vision that I saw by the river Shavar, and I fell upon my face. And the glory of Yahweh came into the house by the way of the gate, whose prospect is toward the east. So the Spirit took me up and brought me into the inner court, and behold, the glory of Yahweh filled the house. By the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, Yehezkel is having visions of heaven. He sees the kingdom of heaven established here in the earth. He said that he was brought up. He says, afterward, he brought me to the gate, even the gate that looketh toward the east. When the children of Israel sinned, Jehezkel said that he saw the glory of the Most High Yahweh lift up. He said it lifted up from the city and the wheels, those four cherubims, those angels, the wheels within, within the wheels, they lifted up and the glory of the Most High Yahweh departed from the east. Jehezkel is seeing the Most High Yahweh return unto his people. For he has not forgotten you, Israel. Your heavenly Father, Yahweh, he still loves you. He still yet chooses Israel. Yehezkel sees the glory of the Most High Yah returning unto his children by the way of the east. In the book of Revelation, this angel that Yaquanan is seeing. This angel ascended from the east. This is a special angel. And notice that the scripture says that he bears the seal of the living God. He has the mark of the Most High, Yahweh. We learned that a seal, when Yahweh Shai came before the Ancient of Days, the Ancient of Days had a seal with seven seals. We learned that the seals are made out of clay and a king would normally take his ring and he would place his mark within the seal so that the reader would know that it is from the king. And the only one who could loose the seals in the presence of witnesses is the one that it was authorized unto. This angel is coming by way of the east and he has the mark of the Most High, Yahweh. And with a loud voice, he said to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Verse three, Revelation chapter seven, verse three. Revelation chapter seven, verse three, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of Yah in their foreheads. The angel said, hurt not the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, until we have sealed, until we have marked the servants of Yah in their foreheads. The book of Ezekiel chapter nine, verse four. The book of Ezekiel chapter nine, verse four. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eye spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. 
but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. The Most High, Yahweh, your father, Israel, he kills and he makes alive. Your father is nothing to play with. He commanded that an angel go throughout the midst of Jerusalem and to kill. He raised up the Babylonians to come into the kingdom and to kill the children of Israel. He said, start at my sanctuary. Start with the ancient men of Israel, those who know better, those who know my word. We have a great responsibility to keep Yah's commandments, to read his words and to understand the will of the heavenly father. He commanded that a mark, that a seal be placed on the foreheads of those who sigh and who cry. Those who have a heart, your mind is your heart, Israel. A seal is placed on the forehead. Your mind is in your forehead. Your mind is your heart. Mark those who sigh and cry, those who see the abominations and who mourn and who cry as a result of it. This is not the first time that the Most High has marked his children. Remember, back in Egypt, remember the Most High came to destroy the Egyptians. The Egyptians had Yah's children in captivity. The Most High Yahweh sent a death angel and he told the children of Israel to put a mark, to put, to put the blood of the lamb on their doorposts for tonight. The Most High Yah is sending his death angel and this death angel came through and smited all of the firstborn of the Egyptians. But all those who had the mark, he passed over their house. Do you have your mark, Yisrael? The son of the highest is returning to this earth. He's taking the kingdom. Daniel said that he saw all the thrones cast down. Do you have your mark? For many will come to the Most High, come before the Lord in that day and say, Lord, Lord, did we not do many powerful works in your name? Did we not expel demons in your name? Did we not do this? And did we not do that in your name? And he said, I'm going to say to them, get away from me, ye workers of lawlessness. Any man that says that he loves God and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. This is how we show the Most High Yah that we love him by keeping his commandments. Do you have your mark, Israel? For the time is short. We are in the book of Revelation. We are in the fifth seal. Your ancestors, they cry out. The sixth seal, when it was loosed, Yaponan saw destruction come upon this earth. Do you know where you are, Israel? The angel coming by way of the east, having the seal, the mark of the living God, he cried out to the four angels, holding back the winds of the earth. And he said, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed and 144,000 Of 
the tribe of Judah, 12,000 of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 of the tribe of Gad, of the tribe of Asher, of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 of the tribe of Simeon, of the tribe of Levi, of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 of the tribe of Yosef, of the tribe of Benyami, 144,000. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there was sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Yehuda were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Rehuvan were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed. 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Lewi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. Out of the 12 tribes of Israel were sealed 12,000 from each tribe. 144,000 were sealed. They received the mark. Notice that 12,000 were not sealed from all of the tribes of the Jehovah's Witnesses. 12,000 were not sealed from all of the tribes of the Baptists or the Catholics or the Protestants or any other religious organization. The Most High, Yahweh, did not send the angel by way of the east, bearing his seal, his mark, to seal any religion. He sealed his children, 12,000, from each tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, 144 thousand you are his elect you are his chosen the book of isaiah chapter 45 verse 2 the book of yeshaya chapter 45 verse 2 i will go before thee and make the crooked places straight i will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron and i will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, Yahweh, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. You are his elect, the Most High has chosen you. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. The book of Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. After this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people 
and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Yaquanan saw 144,000 sealed with the mark from the first group. He then sees a second group. He says, which no man could number a great multitude of all nations. Who is this second group? The book of 2 Kings chapter 17. We'll start at verse 5. 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 5. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria and placed them in Hela and in Havor by the river of Gozan and in the cities of the Medes. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against Yahweh their God, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods, and walked in the statutes of the heathen, whom Yahweh cast out before the children of Israel, and of the kings of Israel, which they had made. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against Yahweh their God, and they built them high places in all their cities, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the heathen whom Yahweh carried away before them and wrought wicked things to provoke Yahweh to anger. For they served idols, whereof Yahweh had said unto them, Ye shall not do this thing. Yet Yahweh testified against Israel and against Yehuda by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but hardened their necks like to the neck of their fathers that did not believe in Yahweh, their God. They rejected his statutes and his covenants that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which he testified against them and they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom Yahweh hath charged them that they should not do like them. And they left the commandments of Yahweh their God and made them molten images even two calves and made a grove and worshiped all the host of heaven and served Baal. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire and used divination and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of Yahweh to provoke him to anger. Therefore, Yahweh was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Yehuda only. The children of Israel split into two kingdoms. You had the northern kingdom of Israel and you had the southern kingdom of Yehuda. The northern kingdom under King Hosea went into captivity under the Assyrians. The Most High sent their enemies against them because of their hard-heartedness, because of their wickedness, because of their disobedience. They served the gods of the nations. The Most High Yahweh, 
He is your God, and he is your father, Israel. Because of the northern kingdom's wickedness, because of Israel's wickedness and their abominations, the heavenly father, Yahweh, allowed them to go into captivity. He said that they walked in the statues of the heathen whom the Most High had cast out. In verse 18, the scripture says, Yahweh was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Yehuda only. When our Lord Yahawashai walked this earth in Jerusalem, there was only the kingdom of Yehuda there, the northern kingdom. The ten tribes were lost. And our Lord, he said this, the book of John. The book of John, chapter 10. We'll start at verse 15. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. When our Lord walked this earth, only the kingdom of Yehuda was there. Ten tribes had already been lost, scattered into the four corners of the earth. Our Lord is in the kingdom of Yehuda, occupied under the oppression of the Romans, an Edomite kingdom. And he said this, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. 10 tribes were already lost. Only the tribe of Judah was there the others were lost. He said, I have other sheep which are not of this fold, which are not of the kingdom of Yehuda. And he said, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold. Those lost ten tribes I must bring. I must bring them back, and they shall become one fold. Yehezkel said that the kingdom of Ephraim and the kingdom of Yehuda shall become one stick. The book of Luke, chapter 21. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The northern kingdom of Israel were scattered into the four corners of the earth by the Assyrians. Our Lord Yahawashai, when he walked in Jerusalem, he said, that I have other sheep which are not of this fold that I must bring in. According to the prophecy, before our Lord was hung from a tree, slain by the Romans, he prophesied and he said that the children of Israel in Jerusalem would fall by the edge of the sword and would be led captive into all nations. Just like the lost ten tribes scattered into the four corners of the earth, the tribe of Yehuda, the kingdom of Yehuda, fell by the Romans and were led into captivity into all nations. Our Lord said that Jerusalem, the motherland, would be trodden down. The feet of the Gentiles would be placed into that land until the time of the Gentiles were fulfilled, until the Most High, Yahweh, 
deemed that it was time. All 12 tribes of the children of Israel were scattered into captivity, into all nations for their disobedience. Let's go back to the book of Revelation chapter seven. Yaquanan sees a second group. He saw the 144,000 of the 12 tribes of Israel, no other nation of people, sealed and marked. Verse 9, he sees another group. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, the children of Israel, were scattered into all nations and kindreds and people and tongues and stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands the most high Yahweh, he is coming for you israel get your mark get your white raiment overcome this world israel you belong unto your father verse 10 Revelation chapter 7, verse 10. And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped Yah, saying, Amen blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our Yah forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes and whence came they? And I said unto him, sir, thou knowest and he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21. What is the great tribulation? Matthew 24, 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The angel of the Most High, Yahweh cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation! be unto our God, be unto our Yah. That's what salvation is, Israel. Salvation is you being saved out of the hands of your enemies. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, He loves you. He still chooses you. Yet, to this day, Yaquanon sees the second group that have overcome. They are wearing white robes the angel said unto to him that these are those who overcame the great tribulation. You were in tribulation when the Romans rose up against you and you fled into the wilderness. You have been scattered into the four corners of the earth in captivity. You've experienced great tribulation. But you must overcome. You must overcome your enemies without and within. You must overcome lust. You must overcome drug addiction. You must overcome paganism and false worship, false religion. You must overcome idolatry. You must overcome sin. You must overcome all corruption and you must 
shoes. Yah. Get your white robe, Israel, that you may stand before the Most High, Yahweh. Revelation chapter 7, verse 15. Therefore are they before the throne of Yah, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them and shall lead them into living fountains of water, and Yah shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Israel, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 7. Shabbat Shalom. 144,000 Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 Of the tribe of Gath, of the tribe of Asher tribe of Nathali, 12,000 of the tribe of Manishé, 12,000 of the tribe of Simeon, of the tribe of Levi, of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 of the tribe of Yosef, of the tribe of Benyami,